disconnects the battery. Oh, it's moving. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are hopefully going to get this thing completely running. Well, it's running right now. The motor is spinning, the throttle works, everything. Lord Kurt did a freaking amazing job on it. But this video, I am hoping that we have this thing on its own two wheels, like completely rideable and riding by the end of this video. I cannot wait for it. So I think first up, we're definitely gonna get this garage cleaned up a little bit. It's a little bit messy in here. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do, definitely just go clean this place up and we'll go from there. Uh, so next up, I'm gonna start reassembling this thing. Uh, Dimitri, the seller, he gave me a bunch of buckets of just random miscellaneous bolts, screws, nuts, gears, everything you can think of, everything that makes up a motorcycle. Um, so we got two buckets there. We have a couple more bins here. We got the forks, I already have a couple other things out. And there are a lot of aftermarket parts that I'm going to be bolting on as well. So we're gonna have to be fitting some stuff up here, but there's nothing to it but to do it. So let's, 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 let's do it. <laughs> I just gotta say a huge thank you to Dimitri. Oh man, he labeled everything, even down to the little tiny screws. He labeled it all. Thank you. A lot of this stuff, I will say, we're not gonna be using. Um, all this stuff is for gasoline motorcycles. So like, fuse box hardware, not using that probably. Battery cover, not using that. Um, engine bolts, not using that. Uh, right axle hardware, we will be using that. Chain protector, we may, but probably not use that. Uh, muffler, not gonna use that. And just a lot of different stuff that we're not gonna be using, which is awesome, because it makes it so easy to build this. And that's what I love about this, this build. The we're gonna be using for the build, really not a whole lot. I mean, this is a tiny little, I mean like, you can see how big this table is, not very big. And uh, I mean, these parts don't even fill it up. But right now I actually am started on getting the rear end assembled. You guys can see there, I started working already to get the axle in and the, and the back tire on. Um, installing suspension next, so that's gonna be pretty easy. And so basically all we have to do is just put in the stuff for the wheels, like it's gonna go pretty quick. This is all we have to do, so I mean, I'm just gonna get back to it. All right, well I just got the shocks on and I already hit a snag. So basically the shocks are easy to put on but the rear wheel needs this to be higher and for that to be higher, I'll need the front end, the front forks and the front wheel and everything on, but the problem with that is I'm just one man and this thing is literally like 250 pounds, 300 pounds, just this front end here. I can't lift it up. So I might just have to wait until Lorker gets here and we can figure it out. I might try to whip up something that'll like lift up, have like jacks and stuff that might lift it up without anything sketchy happening. 
that's best case scenario. I think what I'm gonna do though, since Kurt is coming over, hopefully in about an hour or two, is start to reassemble the front end off the bike. So I'll just put the wheel in the forks, brakes all mounted up and everything. And so when he comes, this can get lifted up and then I just slide the whole front end in and hopefully it's as easy as that. Just tighten the bolts down and then it'll sit on its own tire. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. Totally forgot to update you guys, but Lord Kurt actually just got here. Um, well, a little bit. We just had dinner and whatnot, but we're finally getting to work. I actually started the time lapse already. We're already getting to work. And so we got the center stand installed already and the kickstand, we're just looking for the spring for that. But next up, we're getting the rear tire on. And this didn't even take long. I mean, this probably took us 10 minutes to get this stuff installed. A little bit longer just for getting screws and stuff, but let's just get to it. Dang, son, that's crazy. This bike right now, guys, is sitting on its own two wheels for the very first time since we've owned it. And probably for the first time in many years. And now we're putting the last piece of the puzzle on to make it a simple how it's gonna look kind of thing. And that looks, I gotta say, really nice. Shoot. It's V1 right there. Yeah, the V2, it's gonna have extra batteries in the middle. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It's gonna look even beefier pretty soon. But it looks, I mean, most of my concern was it would look too wide. Yeah. And the wheels got on. But it does not look wide. Not at all, dude. That looks really cool. That looks really nice. It's really hard. This is a wide angle lens, so it makes it look super funny. I'm not even gonna try this. All right, you ready? I'll, I'll definitely support you. There you go. Mostly. Just emotionally. There you go. Now the suspension is compressed a bit. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You know, it feels like a pretty light bike. Yeah. All things considered. And I wonder, we got to get two scales and see what the full weight is. Oh, that's true, huh? See how actually heavy it is. How's that feel? It's pretty good, actually. That's yeah. Nice yeah. That looks really good too. That looks beastly. That looks great. Let's get it from this angle, see how it looks like this. Shoot. I decided Lord Kurt has to have the honorary first ride. Once this thing has everything installed, we have it outside for the first ride, Lord Kurt definitely gets it. That's pretty sweet. He's been freaking killing it on this, this build. Definitely deserves it. Well, how are you feeling now you see it on its own good. two wheels? It looks really good. Yeah. Should get the chain on. Definitely, yeah, let's, might as well. Re no reason then, not to. Then you can drive. That's true. We'll throw the throttle on there and oh, yeah. the foot pegs. And let That's me get the rear do. brake also hooked up. Yosemite yeah. joined us tonight. What's up, cat? Yeah, I just gotta hook up the rear brake here. Drum brake, it's super easy to install. Foot peg and then the little brake arm and then this little connection here and that's ready to go. Foot peg on that side and then throttle there and we'll have working enough brake throttle and everything and the chain yeah all right guys it's the next day here uh, we made a lot of really good progress last night um, and this thing dude I'm so excited it looks so amazing already but I mean once the headlights on there and like all everything is on there it's gonna look even more crazy so today I'm hoping we get this thing running the biggest downfall that we were facing last night was this chain is too short so that's the chain that came with the bike 
It's a size thicker than stock, and it was not quite long enough to reach all the way around here. So we need to pick up a longer chain. That's definitely on the to-do list today to get it running. I also have to install the front brake. I don't technically have to install the front brake, but I definitely want to. We could roll with just the drum brake, but in the event something really happened and you really needed to stop, that would not do it. Um, so we definitely want a front brake. It is a very good thing I decided to bleed the brakes today because look at that, you guys can see that is just sludge coming out. I took the screw all the way out and decided to test out the brakes and push some fluid through the line into here and it's pushing out a lot of sludge coming out the end there. Hopefully I don't have to take the caliper all the way apart and clean all the passages. I don't think I will because it looks like it now is starting to free flow so I'm just going to keep pressing the brake and just get all the sludge out. For now at least, it'll be good enough. We do have to take all this apart again anyway. I may just clean it then, but if I can just get all the gunk out just by pressing the brake and pushing fluid through it, I think I'll just do that. That's definitely the easiest way to do it, so. All right, so the brakes are installed, but now's the time I figure out if they're installed well. <laughs> Let's see if this front brake even works, because the caliper was pretty shot. So it could just be completely seized up and the brake will stay on the whole time since I've been bleeding it. I don't know, we'll see. And then this, I couldn't find the spring for this. It'll apply the brake, but unless you pull it back up, it'll keep applying the brake. It'll stop the bike in an emergency, but I'm definitely gonna need to find the spring for it. All right, let's, let's uh, give it a shot. Oh yeah. Feels like there's a brake being put on. Gonna go out on a limb and say it's the front brake. Well, it'll ride. It'll ride, dude, and we can stop. Kinda. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we'll definitely have to figure some stuff out, but I'm not too worried about it yet. There's probably like no way I can get it back on the center stand with the brakes on and by myself, so I'm not even gonna try it. Kurt just came over and we're gonna see if this will roll. We're, I think the front brakes are engaged and I'm hoping the piston is not locked. Just put you guys over here. I'm hoping the brakes aren't locked up. Yeah, it's locked up. All right, we, we have determined that uh, the front brake probably is a little bit seized up. We'll see. We'll just do a ride on it. It could just, the brake pads look like they're completely fresh, so it could just be rubbing a little bit. Who even knows? Uh, it's not going to be an issue, definitely, with the motor. It could eat, If Kurt could push it, it, you know, as, you know, freaking... I don't put out 60 horsepower. He doesn't so. put out... Uh, yeah, he's probably maybe one or two. <laughs> so this should have no problem, even with the brakes rubbing a little bit. So we'll do that, see if the brakes kind of break themselves in. If not, we'll figure it out, but no big deal. So we're gonna run to APF right now, APF Motorcycle Savage Yard. Uh, we need to find ourselves a bigger chain, uh, longer chain, or extra links so we can add those in and make it long enough. But we gotta do it quick because it's getting dark and this thing does not have a headlight on it. So let's see if we can even get it done today. Hopefully they have a chain, you know, at all. So <laughs> we'll see, let's head out. Got 
back from APF. We did get a chain. It's an older one, and we'll kind of have to just make it work. Next, go, give it to you. All right, well, I couldn't get the pin in. I tried so many times, this little pin here. So there is both. So this chain we had to break. And so this is the pin that I was trying to get through here. I realistically just can't do it. I definitely thought about like jerry rigging it, just getting like some wire or something and just putting it through temporarily just to get this first ride because I wanted to do it this video. But anyway, then I have the master link as well to, to connect that end with whatever end, however many links we break here. Um, but this pin just won't go in. And we're also just running out of daylight. So I, I just don't think we're gonna get the first ride in tonight. The bike though, I won't leave you high and dry. The bike is completely ready. I mean, it's literally just the chain that we need to put on and it can, it can ride. It's like crazy that it's at this point where it is now. Um, so let me unplug this charger for you guys really quick. And let me just show you, I don't wanna leave you high and dry because you guys haven't even seen the motor spin yet. So I definitely wanna show you guys that. And just sitting on it right now with like the handlebars and everything as it's gonna sit is just, it's such a rush. It's crazy that it's at this point where it is now. Um, but anyway, let me fire up the motor for you. So we just have our temporary ignition switch here. So you'll hear the click of the contactor and the bike is now on. Um, so just give it a listen. I'll just give it a few reps for you guys. Anyway, that's how it sounds and I'm so excited. Again, this bike is completely ready to ride. It's literally just the chain that we need to get put on. And man, we were really hoping we'd have it done by this time today, uh, cause I'm posting the video tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday, it's Halloween. So usually I'm working on the weekends, but I think we're just gonna have some fun this weekend. So next video, I definitely wanna, it's gonna be the first ride. We're gonna take it out, we're gonna test it, troubleshoot, we're gonna do all that good stuff. Um, hopefully by that point we're gonna also be mounting gauges and stuff because there are some other things to put on this we need to get it assembled completely we're super excited where it's at um, just being assembled and having the motor spinning I'm just so disappointed we didn't get the chain on tonight uh, that would have been so cool to see it actually running and driving but that's definitely the next video and we're stoked to, to all right guys, thanks a ton for watching. If you guys can for the YouTube algorithm, just give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Lots more coming on it. So appreciate having you guys here and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.